Alright everybody, welcome back to Risen Sun Adventure. Today we're out in the sunshine. It is a beautiful day outside, so we thought we'd do a video outside. Hopefully the wind doesn't affect us. We have the cat on the mic. So we hopefully get some good audio and you enjoy the video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, make sure you share the channel. It's the only way we have to grow. And thank you for the 203 subscribers that we already have. That's a joy just to watch those numbers rise. Uh, guys, as we're preparing for the 2022 Hobie BOS event, at Santee Cooper. We all like to have our kayaks put in kind of an aesthetic mode. We'd like them to be a matching. Uh, it's, a, it's a very expensive kayak, so we take care of these things. Uh, Ryan Brenneman, if you check out his channel at Hook Sets with Ryan and look at his new kayak, a Hobie, the way that he did the decals really pop with the uh, marine mat that he has on the deck. So if you notice my marine mat, it is a olive green with the orange inlay. Uh, make sure you check out Marine Matt, so they did a great job uh, supplying me with this and it actually looks really good on the kayak. But if you notice that my decals at this time are all black and Ryan gave us the idea of using the color of the inlay along with the color of the uh, top of the Marine Matt to make it you know, pop even more. So with my Cricut Maker, I went ahead and I made my, my decals to match my marine mat and we're going to put those on so guys stay tuned we'll show you what it looks like when we're through and we'll show you how you put them on and make sure that you get them on correct all right all right guys as you can see we have taken off the decals that we're going to replace this one here was the titan tungsten and then this right up here would have been the true sound but while i'm down here you can also see um, if you look closely where the boat takes kind of a beating from either uh, getting up on dock doing stuff of that nature i mean it's just minor scratches but what I do before a big event, so before I'm actually doing the season, is I'll come back in here and I'll take a heat gun and you just turn it up on its pretty much highest heat. And if you just come right here and just start heating up the area. And you'll watch it, it'll get, it'll get shiny. Once it gets shiny, if you just take your rag and wipe it, it'll smooth out some of those imperfections. Alright guys, once you get your decals off, your old ones, and you get it pretty much cleaned up, and you get some of your imperfections out of the um, plastic, uh, you're not going to get them all out, but you can clean it up a little bit and make it a little smoother. So right here is where we're going to put the, the new decal. So we want to make sure that it is free of all oils, and we're going to wipe it down with acetone. We'll go ahead and wipe down both spots. With the wind blowing, you just make sure that uh, you hold on to it so it don't blow off and go crazy. And you just make your position. Stick it on there. Rub it down real good. Decal. If you have air bubbles in it, 
sometimes you'll get air bubbles. You can take a pin later and just stick a hole in them and you can stick those out. And that's probably what I'll do because this thing has got a couple of air bubbles in it. Guys, that right there is the two smaller ones. So once you get it on there, pull off the transfer tape. You can go back and Earlier, if you take a small needle, you can rub out some of these air bubbles. There's two of them, and we'll pull it forward and we'll do the big one. As you can see, um, like if you go back and you look at Ryan Brenneman's video, you'll see where he had the large Hobie word right here. That comes from the newer kayaks, um, and what he done was take it and put the blue in behind it. So I wanted the same effect, but I wanted something different, so I really wasn't copying what he had done. So I took the design that Hobie has here, placed it on my own design, going with my black and orange and green theme, and this is what I came up with. And guys, sometimes if you have a larger decal, you want to have someone help you with this. Like I said, you want to you want to get it down there pretty decent. You want to make sure you're rubbed in real good for the adhesion. And it eliminates the, the fear of having those bubbles too. All right, as you can see guys, we got it on there. Um, go back through and uh, these squeegees here have this little smooth, kind of like a, a velvet, velvet, I don't know what it's called, but um, it helps you to smooth this out a little better. And, yeah, as you can see, it does make the kayak pop. As you can see, we have redone all the decals and we even made one there that uh, just sets it off even i mean it's just amazing what it does to the kayak uh, when you got your deck mat on 
and like I said we got the Risen Sun Adventures deck mat and uh, this was done by the guys down in Florida and we finished up the the back side and we took the rod holders and bent them a little bit forward so they actually stand straight up now on both sides but it does make a total difference on how it looks from there All right, everybody, we got back to the house uh, from putting the decals on, and it looked really good. Um, we took some pictures of it, and uh, here's a picture of me uh, in it um, out on the water. Uh, it actually makes the boat pop. It makes the boat look really good. Um, we think shout out to Hook Sets of Ryan for the, the idea of the way he did his. And uh, guys, you can do anything if you put your mind to it, especially with a cricket maker. Um, so get out there, put your mind to it, make your boat look fancy, make it look nice, and make it look pleasing to yourself. And others may like it. So guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure that you share the channel. That helps it grow. And we will catch you on the next one.